Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, and welcome to a very exciting tutorial from VideoCopilot.net. And uh, I'm only joking. Um, hi, I'm Dan Allen, and I just thought I was looking at my lovely The Bullet in my um, collection of Video Copilot products, and I thought they haven't, well, Andrew hasn't covered Maya. So I thought I'd help you Maya guys out, and I thought I'd go over the bullet in Maya, or Maya, as I like to call it. What do you think, Sharon? No idea. Anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to skip all that After Effects stuff, because I'm assuming you've bought the DVD. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into Maya, as if we had, as if we had done all the After Effects stuff. So, um, hit the space bar to come out of our perspective view. Hit the space bar to go to the side view. And what we're going to do, click on this curves panel. Um, and before we start drawing our bullet, we want to go view, image plane, import image. And this is going to load an image into our view. So we're going to go into the bullet. Or if you've stored it, wait one second because I'm running mine off a disk. And locate so shop 001 images reference photos and the bullet side view and we got it in there lovely job and now we can start drawing our bullet so we're going to grab this curve tool the EP curve tool and we've actually got some settings for the curve tool here we go click on this middle icon here and you can change uh, what do you want the curve degree I'm going to say it to 2 I believe that works well now hold down the X key and that will snap it to the grid and um, let it go because this isn't on the grid. And then I'm going to start drawing my curve like that. You know what? Two isn't working for me. I'm going to go for one and go for linear. And hopefully this won't actually do anything. So hold down X, let go of X, and then we're going to start to model it. I want to add quite a few points because we're going to have to make it smooth ourselves. Okay. Now we're going to go in, hold down X, and hold down X. And now we got our finish thing. Press Enter to confirm our cool half a bullet thing. And then we're going to go into this Surfaces tab. Now, if you don't see this shelf right here, then we're going to click on this arrow and make sure that shelf tabs is viewable. Um, and now I'm going to stop doing the accent because I'm actually British and I'm proud to be British. So we're going to choose this rotate tool. And if we go into the attributes editor, we've now got our settings for revolve. Change our z axis to 90. And now, as you can see, hit the spacebar to come out of this view. And we can go into here, and as you can see, we've now got our bullet. Hit key number five to view it shaded. Next thing we want to do is duplicate this. So Command D will duplicate, just like After Effects. Um, hit the R key to go into scale, and we want to scale it in W and bring it forward like that. Now I'm going to scale it a little bit more and bring it forward a little bit more Ooh, wrong direction like that okay so we're starting to get this bullet um, but what we want to do now is mess around with the shell um, if I'm going a bit fast I'm sorry but one would assume you've already seen most of this so wouldn't want to go over it too much um, we're going to hide First of all, we're going to group them to objects, so make sure they're both selected. You don't want to select the pl this plane though, so Shift to select two objects, and Command G will group them. And then we're going to go um, Display, Hide, Hide Selection like that and we can also hide our curves 
and now we want to draw this shell which will be easier to do as I'm sure you can imagine because we're not imagining what it looks like on the inside we can actually see exactly what it looks like a little bit less room for the imagination huh? um, go into our EP curves tool again check this middle box here um, and we're just going to leave it the same settings um, hold down X go from this middle bit again go up to here I'm going to do this fairly quickly um, so that you can spend as much time as you want doing it goes around here Ooh. sorry we're just going to the halfway point to there, hold down X, snap to that grid bit, keep X held down, like that, and there we go, hit enter, we've now got this curve, well it's not really much of a curve really is it, and then choose our curve and it's done the same thing, so we go into the attributes editor and we set our Z axis to 90. And as you can see, we have now we come out of that view. We have now got our shell, which our blip will go into. Well, we don't actually need to see it go into it. Um, and that is basically the end of part one. Part two, I'm going to go into the uh, texturing this. And I hope you like this. Remember to check out the tutorial. Remember to buy the bullet. And see you next time.